Hey everybody, Gabby here. Happy Monday. I am here with your battle of the day. Um, I hope that the audio sounds a little bit better on this video. I actually am in the process of updating my setup. <laughs> I know, right? I like just started this, but um, you know, I was at TwitchCon this weekend and I had the chance to learn about some really like, I don't want to say basic, but basic like, uh, here's the bare minimum you can do to sound like a professional um, audio and video tricks and whatnot. So I'm using a new mic. Um, I'm actually ordering like a one of those like uh, pop filters and like a mic stand for it so I can mount it above my face. Um, <laughs> So yeah, hopefully that'll like make things sound better. That being said, if anybody has any feedback on the video quality or the sound or anything like technical about my streams, let me know. Uh, the lighting, I can't really change because my apartment is really stupid about that actually. Um, so yeah. Anyways, today we are playing some guy from Japan. Uh, this guy from Japan has a Sylveon, a Garchomp, a Rotom, a Claydol of all things. Uh, definitely a Trick Room setter. An Arc Arcanine and a Ferrothorn, very well balanced team type wise. Um, honestly, a lot of the times when I look at like team types, I look to see what colors everything is because I feel like that helps me a little bit. So yeah, um, obviously the biggest threat when I look at this team uh, for me right now is definitely the Ferrothorn of all things. It might just be a little bit of like rollover from back when I ran rain teams, but <laughs> Ferrothorn scares me, man. So I'm gonna bring Landorus, Metagross, Entei, my Lodic. Uh, Entei's in the back, obviously, because I want to make sure I have it around when Ferrothorn shows up. Uh, not really the best anti-trick room setup I could do, but I think I am way, 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 way more concerned about just being able to handle everything on his team because it is such a like diverse team in terms of types. And if Trick Room shows up, you know, I'll deal with it. Um, also hesitated to bring Amoongus, actually, because between Arcanine and Claydol, and I guess Sylveon, depending on what moveset you run on it, that's not really the best matchup. That being said, it looks like I have a pretty good matchup um, against his lead of Garchomp and Rotom W. Uh, I almost said Rotom H. Uh, you know, Garchomp, famous for doing Garchomp things. Uh, Rotom famous for doing Rotom things. As much as I would love to immediately go for the Ice Punch, I'm actually gonna wait. You know, may many Rotoms carry Will-O-Wisp. If Landorus gets burned, I mean, I'm rolling for flinch chances here anyway, so yes, it's less damage. I don't really care. Um, what I'm more concerned about is A, making sure I can deal with that Garchomp, and B, making sure that I outspeed Garchomp next turn, which this Metagross does, which is amazing. So it looks like Garchomp does go for the Protect. Uh, Rock Slide will connect with Rotom W and Garchomp, even though it protected. And Rotom goes for HP Ice, I'm assuming, since he did target that Landorus, and it is enough to take it down. Um, kind of a weird play, honestly. I don't think I've seen Rotom with HP Ice in, like, forever. Uh, that being said, I mean, it took care of Landorus, so... It worked. Um, anyways, I'm gonna send in my Milotic now. Um, I'm just gonna Toxic. Or actually, you know what? Uh, do I think Garchomp is Sash? That's the real question here. Um, going back to Team Freeview, Garchomp was the only thing on the team that could Mega Evolve. So I'm gonna assume it's the Mega. I'm gonna go straight for Ice Punch and I'm gonna go for Toxic on Rotom. If Metagross gets burned this turn, it might actually be bad because Garchomp it was withdrawn in favor of that Ferrothorn. Okay. So... <laughs> Let's hope that Will-O-Wisp misses, or maybe he doesn't have it, because again, he did have HP Ice, and that could be in favor of... Okay, Thunderbolt. Yeah. So, Thunderbolt, Hydro Pump, uh... What should I call it? Um... Thunderbolt, Hydro Pump, HP Ice, Protect, maybe? Unless it's running, like, Assault Vest or something. Which, again, would be weird, but, um... Not completely unheard of. Unfortunately for me, this kind of puts me in a weird spot. Um... I don't really want to switch, but I don't really want my Lodic to die. So... Which it definitely will. I think I'm going to be forced to switch here. Um, especially since... Okay. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, my Lodic is not making any friends out here. And then I'm going to go for Zen Headbutt on Rotom because that'll do neutral damage. Um, it has a flinch chance, and who knows, maybe it'll actually... Uh, 
if it crits, it might KO, depending on how bulky this Rotom is. Which I don't know, because it's running all attacks. Uh, Zen Headbutt does connect. It'll do not that much. Uh, but Rotom does flinch, so that's perfect. And Ferrothorn goes for Sword Stance. Okay. Um, I actually did run Sword Stance Ferrothorn for a while, and it's interesting. Um... It does more than you think, is how I'd describe it, actually. Anyways, Toxic is going to put Rotom into the I get hit by anything and I die uh, positions. I'm going to go ahead and go for Sacred Fire on that uh, Ferrothorn. I keep wanting to call it Natare, which is the Japanese name, um, which wouldn't make much sense to a lot of people. And then I'm going to go for Iron Head onto Rotom, just so that I will definitely hit it. Um, he switches out and brings in Arcanine, I believe. Yep, that is Arcanine. Um, Arcanine does have Intimidate. So this obviously puts Metagross in just a bad place. Um, but that's okay. We will figure that out next turn. And Iron Head isn't enough to get the KO after the Intimidate, which is a little bit frustrating, actually. Um, and Sacred Fire does nothing to Arcanine, because, yeah. And Rotom goes for Hydro Pump. It will connect with Entei. Um, good switch on his part. And he gets a crit. No, what? Okay, no, Ente should survive that. Um, crap. Okay, well, this kind of puts me in a bad position, because now Metagross is at minus one, and uh, I can't switch around anymore. Okay. Um, hmm. Who are you going to send in? Is it going to be Ferrothorn? Because if it is, like, Ferrothorn is basically, has won the game at this point. Yep. So the best I can do here is to try and beat that Arcanine. And then, I don't know, I don't, <laughs> I'll be honest with you guys, I don't really want a timer stall from now until uh, 25 minutes from now. So I'll see if I can get it down to like 2 versus Ferrothorn, and then I'll probably just forfeit. Because like, in a, uh, you know, in a VGC match, that would be enough. Um, that being said, judging by his plays so far, I would not be surprised if he calls uh, what I'm going to do here and protects Arcanine. Uh, nope, he goes for the Will-O-Wisp onto Metagross, Scald will connect, um, but Scald doesn't really have a chance of killing this turn. Um, so I'm going to be forced to attack um, Arcanine next turn. Seed Bomb actually gets the KO on my Lodic. That's... Alright, this is pretty much game. Um, not really sure what I could have done differently here. That HP Ice on Rotom really took me by surprise turn one. Um, I could try and get it to one versus Ferrothorn, but I do know I lose that automatically because he has recovery. Oh, but anyways, Arcanine comes out. Um, yeah, this is game. Um, I'm replaying through it in my head. And, oh, miss. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to forfeit this. So, yeah, I think what I should have done here would have been to... Uh, I don't know, because Amoongus probably wouldn't have helped much. I think he just had the better team. Um, anyways, if you have an idea of what I could have done to win that, or if you have any feedback on, you know, audio quality, video quality, what have you, uh, hit me up in the comment section. If you liked what you saw, please, uh, you know, tell your friends, like the video, share it on social media, and I'll be back tomorrow with another battle. Uh, that was Gabby. I am Gabby, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good one.